In this video, we explore the need for virtual memory in a computer. When programs and data are being fetched and executed by the CPU, they are stored in RAM. However, this assumes that the memory is large enough to hold all the programs being executed. In modern computers, it's common to have more than one program open at once. However, you can store significantly more programs on the hard disk compared to RAM, because byte for byte, hard disk space is much cheaper than RAM. When you turn your computer on, the bootstrap program will load the operating system from the disk into RAM. When you use a computer, every time you double click an icon to load a program, it transferred those instructions into RAM. But what happens when you run out of RAM? As instructions are fetched one at a time, that means that some of the instructions are not likely to be fetched in the near future. Therefore, one solution is to transfer instructions that are not being used to a space on the hard disk, and this is known as virtual memory. When these instructions are needed again, a different program can be swapped out of RAM to virtual memory to make room for the instructions that are now needed. This gives the impression that a computer has more memory than it actually has. So let's recap. Virtual memory is needed when there's not enough physical RAM to store the open programs. Virtual memory is held on the hard disk. Programs are transferred out to virtual memory from the RAM when they're not currently being executed. And programs are transferred back to RAM from virtual memory when they're needed. <laughs> 